So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my other video. So today we are going to discuss about Oman. So as a lab technician, how you can migrate there. So today we have we have very special guest, Aju Krishnan here. So he is working there for the past several years in Oman. So lab technician, he is basically an Indian citizen from Kerala. So we will uh, learn from his journey and he will ask a lot of questions about A to Z, particularly if you are a lab technician and you're looking to migrate to Oman or any other GCC country, so easily you can migrate. Hi, Aju. Thank you so much Hi. for your time. Hi, sir. Hi. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, fine, sir. How are you? Can you please give us your brief introduction yourself? Hi, I am Aju Krishan. I'm basically from Kerala. I have completed a diploma in MLT and a uh, BSc in biochemistry. Uh, I had an experience of six to seven years in India in a multi-speciality hospital. From there, I uh, tried to come to GCC after completing the procedures and everything. Now I settled here around one year. Uh, it is good to be here and try to do more things, uh, go to other countries and like that. But now it is okay here. I am trying to get settled here. Okay, so what you can you please give us a little bit about what, what the eligibility criteria someone want to migrate uh, to Oman? Okay, basically we have, we have to get a um, certificate course like uh, we have to complete one government course of diploma in MNC, medical lab technician. It is a basic course with having two years of uh, that syllabus and everything. Uh, after that, we have to get a minimum experience of two years in a reputed company. Uh, then only we can apply uh, for Oman. So uh, Oman, what is the name? This is, this is a prometric exam for lab technician? Yeah, it is prometric, prometric exam uh, needed in Oman. So basically, you are, you are, if you are a diploma, DMLT, or you, you did your BMLT or BSc MLT, or you have plus you have two year experience, you are eligible to write this Oman prometric exam. So this is, a, I think, this is an online exam they can give in, in India or... Uh, or yeah, the... first, of all, first of all, we have to complete an uh, MCQ, multiple choice question that is regarding our lab and everything. It will only, basically, it is uh, only our subject oriented. Uh, it will be a hundred question MCQ having one and a half hours of online exam. After that, uh, within 10 to 15 minutes, we will get the results that we are passed or not, or not with the score that we have scored uh, in that exam. So once they pass this MCQ-based exam, so this exam in India, there is any, any center, they have to go to center and sit in the exam? Lot of centers are uh, available in India for uh, practice. Uh, some are very good, some are bad. So we have to select by uh, the people that are passing, uh, passing this exam. We have to take a reference from them also. Yeah. So there are so many centers in India, but if you know anyone already passed the exam, so you can uh, go with them. So, you know, it's just like reliable because they already did. So they have some experience. They can guide you nicely. So this is the online exam, uh, prometric exam. So you can pass from India. And once they pass this exam, also what is the fee for this exam? Yes. By the way. Uh, it's around 22,000. It will change accordingly, but uh, that uh, price in India will change now. Uh, uh, it is come under Oman real actually. Yeah, so I so we can say like fifty five. Yeah, so you can say like twenty two to twenty five thousand Indian rupees because the currency yes. is a little bit higher or lower sometimes. You know, okay. Yes, around twenty two thousand it will so it will be around for the exam. Okay, after so once, passing exam. Yeah, once they uh, pass the exam, so what is the ne next process? For job, finding yeah, a job. We have to go for data flow. Okay. Data flow is basically where we have to submit our uh, certificate, like SSLC plus two. So, uh, uh, and, uh, Aju, can you uh, actually, yeah. first they have to go for this MCQ based exam or first they have to go for data flow? We can uh, go for, if we have already uh, some job facility that they are uh, interviewing you directly, then we can directly go for data flow. And then we can go for, because data flow will take around four to five days. Yes, yes. Basically, first you have to go for the data flow is like nothing, but they will check your document or your experience, you know. Then they will let you know that you are eligible to sit in the exam, you know. So once they pass this exam, how they can find a job in Oman? 
yeah after exam passing uh, we can directly go for online like thing then and everything we have uh, we can test in there also or specifically there are agents are available also they will direct you to the uh, the center uh, but it is better go with the, some guys that are already working in online uh, get a reference from there uh, that better which is the hospital that uh, doing better here which uh, between but salary here so we have to contact some person here that is already working in online after that only we can uh, go for uh, the interview at everything here it is better that we will go for someone working in oman already working in oman that means so pharmacy radiologist or uh, even like can you say every everyone can help you here everyone is helping you so basically once you pass the exam so if you don't know anyone so you can find them on any social media such as like linkedin you know so if you can if anyone already working in oman you can ask them you know so they may help you so once you got so it, uh, so the, the so it, it means that they have to find a job online then they can go oman or is there any way like they can go for like a, any any uh, short term visa like 3 month visa or like visitor visa or something they can go and find a job on oman any oman they, they provide any visa yeah visiting visa is also here but uh, that's what the problem is for getting visiting visa we have to uh, we, some people should be here only a sponsor can sponsor you visiting visa from here okay so, so we have to uh, contact with some people here okay after that they will uh, apply for your visiting visa then only the ministry gives the approval for the visiting visa for two months period and it can be ex- extended to one month uh, total of three months we can stay in oman and we can search for job okay but so- visiting visa there are rules are different we can't work during the visiting visa process only we can come here and we are, like a tourist we can go here and there and we can also attend the interview and everything after that we have to go to in, uh, back to india and see the visa and come back to turn back to so so basically very simple once you pass this exam so you can find some person in oman he is working any any healthcare professional so he may sponsor your uh, this tourist visa so once you got tourist visa you can go there and find a job and a sponsor then you have to come back to india then he will give you a work visa then you can go back again i am right at you and one another one another visa is also there because in oman there is another procedure after completing formality we have to complete the viva process also there is a viva exam also is. yes yes okay uh, that is uh, done by the ministry itself the government people uh, so during that period it will take around 2 to 3 months after passing the formality and everything so that time some company will give you two month visa that you can come to oman and directly attend the viva here but due to this covid and everything they have now they are not giving that visa right now only mm-hmm. we can uh, do it on online uh, they will arrange an online exam after completing that the visa process will start after getting visa you can come to oman previously they are sending two months visa that we can come directly to oman and attend the viva directly to the ministry after that we can uh, work here the previous uh, okay so you know this guys you know once you pass prometric exam again you need to attend a interview you know so you have to find a sponsor someone has to sponsor your visa maybe two month three month you know so you have to go there again in oman and you have to attend the interview once you clear the interview then they may offer you a long term visa maybe two year or three year or something yeah two year visa they will okay two year visa okay. Okay. So, what you uh, what is the normal uh, salary in Oman uh, in, in Indian rupees, or if you can, if you have any idea? Yeah, actually, it basically comes with the experience. It is a minimum of two years of experience. You will get around three fifty to four hundred Oman riyal. That around, I think, uh, it around one lakh something like that. The maximum of one lakh twenty thousand like that we will get there. Yeah, and um, if you have more experience and you are more qualified, the salary will go up to five hundred five fifty like that. That basically up to the firm that you are going, they'll uh, make that salary and everything. Like, so I can say like, 
minimum salary will be 1 lakh to 2 lakh in between is based on your uh, diploma you have master degree bachelor degree on how many years you have experience you know and also depend on your how you perform in interview you know and your negotiation yeah, with, yes, the, 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 with the process. with the employer yes and uh, there is also one um, um, one position is that like, like slabotomy it will get around 70 to 1 lakh like that it is so so for the, for the, this uh, phlebotomist wall also they need to pass the same uh, lab technician exam same same criteria we have to go to same to same criteria we have to go to it basically with the experience and the form you are going they will appoint you to as phlebotomy or a lab, technician. Uh, lab technician or technology like that they will or senior lab technology they, like that they will divide and after that only we will get the salary details and everything Yes. Okay. So we also basically help in academically if you want to migrate to Australia. So as a lab technician, if you have a bachelor degrees, you are a B.Sc. M.L.T. or M.Sc. L.T. or you are a like a uh, not D.M. Diploma is not eligible here. But if you did your B.Sc. plus diploma and you have several year of experience, in that case you still can eligible. But if you are just DMLT, uh, then you are not eligible. But if you have bachelor degree, then you are eligible. Uh, plus two year experience also need for Australia. So Australia is a good country if you want to migrate because the salary is very high here. And this is like they give you permanent visa, basically PR visa, then citizenship, and lot of other advantage. I, I already make several videos regarding this. So today we are just focusing on the this uh, Oman. So, Ajay, in the last, if if you can give any any single person is coming single, so how much he can save? Like if he is getting like one lakh or one point one point two lakh is earning, so how much the uh, expenses in Oman? Um, expenses like uh, expenses there, but we are uh, we have to adjust with the environment, and then we can save, but like half or half above half we can save like that. No, uh, not on the family. It's like single. More, yeah, mostly the those are single. Like they that. are living basically like four or five people in the in same apartment. Yes, something yes, like, like that. that. They yes, can share. Also like that. There is, there is. They some some form will give you free accommodation. Okay. Uh, so the accommodation charge will be not there. Some people they will take a little amount for the accommodation. It will be a shared room and everything. Uh, but if we are willing to adjust with every environment here, we can save you. Actually, it is not like uh, it is good here. We can adjust with everything. With two or three months, we will adjust with everything, and it will be okay. Yeah, we can. Uh, so basically, uh, some hospital or your employer also can give you a free accommodation, or maybe he may charge us some money. You know, so they also is. Is there any other advantage in working in Oman, like a ticket they are given, or something? If when we are going to back to India. No, actually, it is not like a uh, like yeah, uh, we are doing our job here. Only we get experience. International experience will be there. Yes, uh, we can uh, communicate with different people here. There are so many other country people who are working with us. Only not Indian. A lot of other country people like Egyptians are there, Pakistanis are there. Lot of lot of people are there. We can communicate with each and everyone. Yes. So we will get the knowledge that how we can interact with other people also, and our knowledge also will increase. It is good here. We can get improved. We will get improved. Yes. So I think if you are looking to migrate to Gulf countries, so Oman also one of the good country. You can think about it. And uh, I can say this is a very it's like a multicultural country. You know, some different different country people are working. Especially when you are working in the arts, so you have to communicate with several doctors, lab technician, pharmacist, or nurses. So maybe they are from Egypt or Pakistan, maybe some different different countries, you know. So you will learn a lot of things. So this is like international exposure for you. Then later on, you can migrate to Australia, Canada, or any other country wherever you want. So today's, uh, I think, Aju, thank you so much. At the end, if you want to say something to our uh, viewers, if they want to migrate to Oman, in the at the end. Yeah, there are a lot of opportunities that are available right now for the lab technician. Uh, but the process is too much harder uh, than other GCC because we have to complete that promotory exam and we have to go for viva. But in other GCC countries, it is not like that. We have only to do that exams only, that MCQ yes. question. 
but when it come to oman it is like we have to complete the viva process also a little bit hard but if we complete the viva process and if we are willing to work in oman it is good actually we will uh, it will make, make you more feel safer here is good here actually climate and everything also is good here so aju just la- my last question many people many student all ask one comment once we can we pass the exam once we pass the exam can we there is a guaranteed can we get a job or not you know so is there is a enough jobs available or do you think yeah that's up to you uh, that you interview and everything you no know? uh, first of all if you are directly come by under any company or like that like a uh, lot of hospital having um, their branches here in oman also if you are come coming under them then it is fixed that you will get the job if you are coming under some agent or something like that so we have to if you get a job detail and everything you have to go for other people that working your man that is it is liable or not after only after you have to pay the money and everything uh, but first you have to confirm that the given details and everything is basically true yeah but i can then say you know, once you pass the exam definitely you can get uh, opportunity yeah, there, 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 there is a op- law law was there but there is a always problem. risk you know wherever you want to go in any country in the world the risk is there you know but i can say the most of people are going and they are living and working you know so there is no uh, something like there is no risk no gain basically so you have to take risk yeah, if yes. you want to work yes. even in australia yes. there are so this there is no guarantee same for oman same for dubai so there is no 100% yes, every country is like that Yes, but once you pass the exam, you already complete like ninety percent your hurdles. So you're just getting, yeah. a, you're just looking a job only. So definitely, I can yeah. say you will get job definitely once you pass the exam. Yeah, yeah, definitely you will get job after completing the viva process. You will get yeah. your license in Oman also. Then you can work here uh, with no no issues. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Ajoo. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.